Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make stickers with your Cricut using the print then cut feature. Um, and you can use these stickers for pretty much anything you want. I made a tumbler with mine and I have another video that I'm going to show you exactly how I made that tumbler. Um, I did it without epoxy, so that's pretty cool. But in this one, I want to show you how to make these stickers. So let me show you first of all, all of these stickers have, whoops, go all the way away, have this white background around them. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. This is important when you're making stickers um, because when you are applying stickers to whatever it is you want to apply them to, you can't use transfer tape. The transfer tape will peel the color off of your sticker. So you have to have a good background around it that incorporates the entire sticker so that you can peel it off into one piece and put it on whatever you're going to put it on. All right, so I'm going to switch this back to white. And we're going to delete this whole thing here. And we will start from scratch. Okay. I have already uploaded all of the images into Design Space. Let me get my grids back. I created the images in a different program, and some of them I actually got from this um, clip, art, clip art set right here. I used the boom box from this, I used the converse from this, and I used the Rubik's Cube from this. The rest of the um, stickers I created on my own. But this is a great set. I'll link to it if you happen to want to make this same type of item. So I'm going to pull in all the stickers. I've got this one, 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 and this one. Okay, so these are all of the stickers or all of the graphics that I wanted to use to make my stickers with. So I've got all of that selected. I'm just going to insert all of it into this project. There it all is, and it's really big. So let me just resize this. I'm going to come up here. It's all selected. It's all grouped together right now. So I'm just going to resize this to about 10. Okay, there we go. So now I can start working with each individual item. And we are just going to do one at a time. So I'm moving off whatever it is I'm not using. And I'm just going to work with one thing at a time. So let's get this name first, Crystal. So I'm going to pull it down here where this is the only thing I'm looking at. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it um, just so that it's easy to look at. And I'll make it a little bit bigger just so I can really see what I'm doing here. Okay, so here it is. I need to add a solid background to this. So what I'm going to use is my offset feature. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click offset and it automatically puts this 0.25 offset around it. That is a little bit big for my liking. Um, I want to knock that down some. So I'm going to put it at about 15 and see what that does for me. Okay, that's really good. What I'm looking for is to make sure that every letter is connected that there is no big um, space between any of the letters so that when I print this and cut it, it will be one piece. It won't be seven separate letters. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. Okay, now it's black and I definitely don't want that. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change its color to white. Okay, we're looking good but we're not quite done. I'm going to pull my name off and I'm left with just this shadow layer or the um, offset. Let me turn it gray actually so we can see it a little bit better. And I want to tweak this just a bit. If I leave it like it is, Cricut will come in and it will cut this and it will cut this tiny thing and it will cut this tiny thing and this tiny thing. I don't want it to cut any of that. Now, if this was a standard cut image, I would be able to click this contour, but it's not. We're, we're doing print then cut because we've uploaded these stickers as print images, not cut images. So I need to change it to a cut. 
going to come up here. It's on print then cut. I'm just going to change it to a basic cut. And now you see I can contour. I'm going to delete all of these tiny pieces. Just leave the main image up there. So they're all highlighted, which means they're all getting deleted. I can click that out. And now you can see that is a full, solid background. That's perfect. Let me turn it back white because I do want them to print out white. Well, they won't actually print. Printers don't print white. They have white on your paper. But you get what I'm saying. Now, to make sure these are perfectly centered, I'm going to select both. I'm going to come to a line and use my cross center here. They are perfectly, perfectly centered. The next step is highly important for print then cut items. You need to attach and flatten. Now, what you did by attaching and flattening is you told the Cricut, I want you to print this beautiful design and I want you to cut out this shadow that I just made for it, that offset. That is all it will cut. It will not come in and cut the black parts of these letters. It will only cut the white around them. Okay, Crystal is done. I'm going to hide it so I can keep going. Let me grab the boom box. Okay, exact same process. Let's put an offset around it. 0.15, um, it could probably be a little bit smaller. Let me take it to 0.12 and see what happens. Yeah, that's going to be good. So we're going to apply that. Take this, turn it to a basic cut because we want to delete these little things. We don't want that stuff to cut out. Contour, get rid of all the little things. There they are. Put this back to print and cut, turn this white, center everything together by selecting both, align, center, and then we attach, flatten, that guy's good to go. Let me hide him, let's get the next guy. Rubik's Cube, what do we do? Offset. 12 is actually pretty good. Apply. Now you see there's nothing cut out of this one, so we can leave it just like it is. We don't have to do any kind of contouring or anything, but I do want to turn it white and then align everything, attach, flatten. Perfect. Done with that guy. All right. The same thing with this O because it's going to work the same way. Okay, offset. Okay, um, all of my dots are connected. That looks good. These little um, swooshes are connected, so that looks good. Everything's going to be fine, so I'm going to apply. And then I need to work with this file. Again, we want to get rid of all of this in here. So, continuing on, turn it to a cut, contour, get rid of everything and you what you want to do when you're doing this is literally just click everything that's here except for the first one and that will get rid of everything in there okay it's solid now turn it back to a print turn it white align and adjust everything attach flatten I'm done with that guy Okay, I'm going to finish the rest of this up, but I'm going to speed up the camera because I think you've seen me do this enough times. Okay, so I have put the background around all of this. I'm going to come in and unhide all of my layers now. And make this design how I want it to be. And I'm going to hit make it. Okay. So it's pulled up into two different sticker papers. Um, this one is not using much of the paper at all. I still have a bunch left over. This one's using most of the sheet. 
Um, that's what we do. So we're going to hit continue. Send to printer. Okay. Important things to do here. This bleed, turn it off. We have already put that white background around everything, so we won't need a bleed. It's, it's already there. Pick your printer. I'm going to use my Epson. And then absolutely turn on this use system dialog. Make sure you do that. Then click print. Now what you want to do over here, it's going to pull up your system dialog. It's going to pull up your printer settings. So come to preferences. Your screen might not look like this. It's, it just depends on the printer you have. But um, preferences will be an option, so click it. Okay, and here is where you're going to want to change some things. You don't really need to mess with any of this. Portrait is fine. What you need to do is come to your paper and your quality. Now you want to select photo paper. Um, if you have the option for matte photo paper, go with that. It will be better. I don't have that option, so all I can do is select photo paper. And um, you can even do more. Mine says advanced. That's something else you're going to need to click into because you're going to need to change the quality. You don't want these normal. You want them high quality or best quality. Whatever yours says, pick the highest quality possible. And then OK. Now you can click OK. And you can click print. And it will send these to your printer. So I'm going to go get that done and I will meet you back. OK, so I got them printed. There's this one here. And here's the other one. And I've let them dry for about 20 minutes just to make sure we're good and safe on um, none of the ink smearing. So I've got it uh, loaded onto my light grip mat and I have it in the Cricut and we're ready to cut the stickers. Just hit the wall so I'm going to scooch that out a little bit. Now what you're seeing it do right now is check the registration marks. The reason it makes this big black box is so that it can come in and identify where you have your paper on the grip mat. And once it gets that identified, it will go back in and cut the stickers. Ignore that sticker down there at the bottom. I don't like to waste paper, so I threw a sticker in for my son's water bottle. Okay, I'm going to speed this process up, and I'll come back and show you when they're done. Okay, so um, I've sent everything through the Cricut. I have the stickers here. I've already peeled the excess off of this one. I'm just going to go ahead and peel it off of this one now. So you literally just separate and peel.